review of The Chilling Tales of Sabrina. The Chilling Tales of Sabrina is, if you haven't quite figured it out yet, a remake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. A re-remake, because Sabrina's been remade like multiple times over the last few decades. Um, there was... Sabrina was first created in back in the Archie comic books as a side character who became so popular that she got her own comic book series. Yes, Sabrina the Teenage Witch started off as a comic book series. Um, sorry, I'm moving the mic around a little bit, trying to get a trying to get a Abbott flow here. But yeah, Sabrina, um, the Teenage Witch, the one I saw in like 1990 something, like the reruns of it, like 1990, okay, four or five or something like that. Um, that one was funny. Um, I can't remember who were the, the actresses who was playing Sabrina, but I found her charming. I found the show charming. Um, Sabe um, the, um, Salem the cat was hilarious. Um, and that was my last, you know, thing seeing um Sabrina. But um, I, uh, not that long ago, maybe like two, three years ago, a show called Riverdale came out based off the Archie comics, obviously, and it was more of like a teen angsty drama, like with a with a with a tiny bit of darkness. Uh, a, a slightly darker teen HD drama based off of the Archie comic books, and it's been highly success and it's been very successful. Obviously, I mean, you get that many attractive young kids, young um, young men and women in a move in a show with drama and oh yeah, fucking kids and fifteen year old girls and twenty and twenty year old and forty year old women will come out and flock to watch it. I personally do not like Riverdale at all. Can't stand that show. It's just so ridiculous. But that's besides the point. Um, the same people who produced that, not that long ago, maybe a year and a half ago, said that they were working on the Sabrina show. A remake of Sabrina Teenage Witch. Made sense. Sabrina was introduced in an Archie comic. And like they are in the same world. So when they announced this, but they announced it on Netflix. And it was going to be a little bit more darker. I was hesitant. I was very hesitant. I was very against this show, this Sabrina show. I'm like, oh, come on. Really? Does fucking everything have to be so dark and mad? Like, does everything have to be so dark? Like, like, what the fuck's wrong with our children that every fucking... To be entertained by something, it's gotta be fucking dark. <laughs> it's, gotta, it's gotta be dark as shit. Like, that's what... Like, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, why? Until I actually saw the show. And I gotta tell you, folks, the Chilling Tales of Sabrina is is a really, really great show. Okay, great is a little much. It's a very, very good show. Off the top, if you don't want any, you know, minor spoilers, I'm not gonna spoil it. But if you just want my, you know, grade of this show, as you know, just as the full season, it's just ten episodes. They're about twenty. They're about twenty. They're about forty-five minutes a piece. Uh, ten episodes. Um, I think they're well pasted, pasted out. So there's maybe one episode that doesn't matter, but like you know, it it, it comes and goes, and you won't even remember it. But overall, I give Sabrina a eight point five. It's not quite a nine. It's not a ten, but it's a very, very, very good show. I can't wait, and it and it leaves you with a feeling of wanting to see what happens next. Very good show. So if that's all you wanted to know is like, what did I like? Solid, just quick, right to the point. My opinions about Sabrina, eight point five. Um, and I'm gonna start getting into a little bit of details in a second. But if that's all, but if you just wanted to know like my short and right to the point opinion about Sabrina, I think it's a very good show with a fun cast. With a fun cast, it's not. It doesn't play up the whole teen drama too hard. It does play it up, but it doesn't play it up too hard. And it harkens back to an old school style of witchcraft and an old school style of um, what people thought of witches. Um, and I think it plays well with that. And like I said, it's a fun cast. The girl who plays Sabrina is um, she grows on you to become even to become a very good Sabrina. Because at first I was like she's kind of creepy to me the way she was acting. But then eventually she came like it's like she kind of got used to her. It was weird how it worked out that way to me. But um, eight point five. Going into details though. Um, I said it. I said it just a few seconds ago. The one girl who played Sabrina kind of creeped me out because she lives in this world. The show is dark, okay? This show is not for children. It says TV-14, but I'd even debate that. I mean, there are orgy. there's an orgy. Um, some of the fucking um, imagery is very dark. Like like something out of a Marilyn Manson um, music video. Um, 
Some of the things done to people is pretty dark. Like, it is a pretty dark show. They stretch that TV-14 as far as they can get it. Like, it is tapping on R-rated. But, like, it's just not enough. They pull back just enough that it's not R-rated. Um, and, but the girl who plays Sabrina, I, I was, like... And when the show's so dark that her, um, light, the way she acts, and the glow in her face, and the smile she has, and how hypey she is just comes off a bit creepy because of how dark everything is around her and it just kind of creeped me out a little bit at first because of how calm she is but after a while the more you saw the world the more you saw oh okay they're kind of going with because she's half witch i think that's in the stories too she's a half witch i think that was in the original too so she's got this different perspective and the, and the show does a great job with this too um, us, us fantasy watchers, you know, anyone who's ever watched fantasy or any, or Blade or something along the lines, whenever there's a half-breeded main character, a main character who's half of one thing and half of another, they usually tend to just make that guy a badass or that woman a badass. They usually just make them a badass with no reason, no true training, nothing behind it. They're just a badass because they're half-breed, which I never quite understood that. Even in Blade, I love Blade, but they always did make him seem a lot more badass just because he's a half-breed. I mean, granted, they could say that Whistler trained him, but it's, man, Whistler couldn't have made him train him to do all that shit. <laughs> but, um, but in this, Sabrina, they do not do that. She's a novice. She's a novice. She really doesn't know magic very well. In fact, she doesn't really accomplish anything on her own till near the very end of the mo show. She really needs help a, a lot of the time because she's not that like the the thing that gives so makes sabrina unique and makes her special is that she is a half human and that she got to live amongst humans because in this world witches witches first of all witches live long lives like they live very long lives like very very long her two aunts who are amazing by the way her two aunts are hilarious they're great they have great they have a great little chemistry going they have a great arc they're lovable they're, they're lovable. The one aunt in Zelda is hateable and lovable at the same time. And she's kind of a gilf. Because <laughs> you know that woman's like 50-something. But I don't know. She's pretty nice. She, <laughs> her aunt Zelda's pretty nice for 50-something. But, um... You know, in the show, she's actually way older than that. But, like, witches... The only witches live longer lives. Like, they can't really feel love. They can't really feel... They, they don't really interact with humans. They have the witch's perspective. And it's just their perspective. But Sabrina has human, has both perspectives. And that's where her unique um, disposition comes from. It's not that she's a half-breed just because she's a half-breed. It's because she has this unique perspective of witches and whatnot. Like, you get you get the feeling that she's going to be someone who is going to push the boundaries of the witch community and, like, try to change things for the better. You know, because the witch, like, the witches in this show are old school. I'm talking rhyming spells. Spells, I'm talking... Every spell rhymes. I'm talking, um, you know, simple, you know, like wicked hocus pocus kind of a deal. Like they're all kind of like eat, they're all kind of different grades of you know mean. They're all kind of different grades of mean women and mean and men. There aren't really any. There's not many nice witches. You don't meet many nice witches or warlocks on the show. Because eventually she ends up going to this school. That's not really a spoiler. It's going to happen so soon. It's like really at the first episode. So going to school with like witches and warlocks. And like none of them are very nice. And they're all trying to get something out of you. And they're all exactly what you think old school witches are. By the way, all over the past few decades, there has been this little shift in um, Hollywood. And I'd say different movies and whatnot of where witches get their powers from. Whenever they do use a witch, a lot of them go, oh, it's from them. It's from them or it's from books, or if it is a demon, or if it or if it is something related to the devil, it's like a demon, like, it's not the devil, they're getting the power from a demon, not the devil, a demon, no, this one just goes straight up, like, old school, because a long time ago, we used to think, like, way back in the day, every, like, if a person used magic, you know, it was a devil, it was instantly the devil, this show, as of now, has not shown white magic, white magic all magic that human beings are allowed to use come from the devil all the witches sign their souls over to the devil and he'll give them longer lives he'll allow them to do cast spells he'll allow them to get familiars which are which 
um, which is what Salem is. Salem the cat shows up in this, but he doesn't talk in this because they want to go with that dark thing for some reason. Because I'm like, ah, oh, that was one. That was the only bummer about the entire. Sh that was one. That, that was the biggest bummer about the whole show is I kind of miss that smart ass cat. And with how and how naive Sabrina is in this show, it would it would have been refreshing to have a smart ass cat telling her, "This is stupid. You know that, right? This is fucking stupid." But they didn't have them, so it was fine. And they changed this backstory because in the original um, show, Salem was a um, warlock who did something terrible. But instead of killing him, they just turned him into a cat. And then he just ended up with Sabrina. <laughs> but in this, he's a... Um, what the fuck is he? He's he's a he's a um, familiar. Which witches do have familiars. They even kept that whole traditional thing of witches having those guardian familiars. All witches have like these guardian familiars who like who are there to protect them when they're when they're not paying attention, basically. Um but like it is old school witch shit, man. It really is. Like to the way they cast the spells, to the things they have to get to cast the spells. Like um I kinda appreciate that because I was just about to say they like, like I said, they stay so they they worship the devil. They worship the devil. They talk about the devil all the time on the show. Literally, they talk about the devil the same way that Christians talk about God or Jesus. Like, and they actually call Christianity the false gospel, the false gospel, and the false god. And they're it's it's so fascinating hearing the witches' interpretation of the Bible, the witches' interpretation of um Adam and Eve, and their interpretation. God was the bad person, and Eve was the hero, and the devil was helping Eve out. Like, in their interpretation. Because, and it's an interesting way they go about it. They're like, yeah, God is be perfect. To them, they're like, God tells you to be perfect and then you'll be saved. The devil says, do what you please and live, do what you please. Live life the way you want to live life. Live it to live, like, that's essentially what they say. That's why, like, the witches are like, they live long, they have orgies, they do all these crazy shit. Like, and, and like, it's not even that big of a deal. They don't really, they don't really have long relationships. Like, as it's established, like, most of the witches don't get married. They don't. They just, because it's just like they live so long and they're, and when you're, when you're, literally your religion is to move forward, do whatever you want. <laughs> and like, do move forward, do whatever you want. And yeah, uh, it makes sense. Um, but yeah, man, um, I can't get into anything else to the show. Um, Sabrina's friends are nice. She's got her boyfriend, um, could have came off as, like, you know, the typical, um, boyfriend of the main actress in a show, but he was a cool dude. He's a comic book writer, so that made him instantly cool, too. That made me instantly like him, too. And he's a relatable guy, you know, because he's not the most, he's not the handsomest guy. He's not the pop most popular guy. He's just a good dude. He's just a good dude. And her two, other two friends are... Also, really fun. They're really interesting characters with their own thing going on. Um, but, like, overall, I can't get into much of this show without spoiling anything. But, overall, I think Sabrina's a solid Netflix show. Um, it's an 8.5 to me. I can't wait to see what happens next season around this same time around Halloween. Hopefully, it's great. I know it's going to be good. I know, hopefully, it's better. Um, the show ends on a on a very WTF note. It ends on a very high note. It doesn't end on a happy note, and then the next season is going to be like, wow, it ends on one of those notes where you're just like, I'm not sure where this is going. I, I can't wait to see where it's going, though. But yeah, Sabrina, um, The Chilling Tales of Sabrina, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Um, please comment below. Please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for joining me on the Comic Gamer Movie Show. Deuces. Good night, people.